you can resize or resample your images in preview. So I'm just having here a um, set of four photos and the way to get the preview application, if you don't have a default photo application on your computer that opens your images, it will open in preview. So I have this, um, these images here, I'm going to double click and it opens in preview and I can tell in the top left corner, I have a preview application. Whenever you're working with images, you have this markup tool. If you click on that in the top right corner, you will get to all these um, shortcuts and all these things that you can use on your images. So I have an image here and let's go and find out how big it is. So it's 4.5 megabytes, which, you know, it's not too large, but for some places you might not be able to use this image. Like for example, for YouTube thumbnails, you have to have two megabytes. So I would have to try to resize it and I can do it very easy in preview. If I just go to tools, adjust size here i can either specify a custom size that is already by default or put it in myself now let's just discuss the fact that we're saying resize but we really mean resample when we say resize it's really the size of the image because what happens if i uncheck this resample right there you can see that it's showing only inches meaning this is the print size so you can reduce the print size if you're not resampling so resample reduces the number of pixels and that's what we mean because we want to reduce the the digital image that we're going to upload somewhere else but you know let's not be technical here people say resize and they mean resample many times so i'm going to use the word resize so i'm going to try to resize the pixels i can either pick one of these options okay let me just see what i have right now for pixels so you can change the dimensions right here what kind of information you're getting pixels 1920 so i can reduce it you know um like i 1280 now because i have the scale proportionally checked there it's not going to give me the fit into 1280 because the height it's still going to be proportional so which i want i don't want the image to be skewed or changed so now here below it tells me that it was 4.5 megabytes and now it's going to be 2.1 with these changes um now let's say if i you know if i did even farther let's say 1100 then it's changing it and the size will be 1.6 so i can click ok now if i click ok now the change occurred now if i press command save it will save over the previous image and so now if i close it i can see right now that's the size now 1.6 megabytes so it was reduced i can also um, open several pictures at once okay all at once so now i can have many photos here on the left i can do command a to select them all go to adjust size and I can change them all at once. Now, sometimes if they're different sizes, you will have varied here and not an actual number, but that's fine. Let's just do it to 1080 and then it's adjusted and then click OK. And then I'm going to save and let's see if it's saved in my photos. OK, it's saving it. So you might have to go to all the photos to just save it over to make sure it saves and i can see that the size changed now let's do another thing like what about if you want to make it larger so you have to be aware that you enlarging the pixels so they are becoming more visible it may become blurry the image but let's try it so let's do some image with faces so like this image let's reduce it we're going to reduce it to like the farther. Let's do it very small, 320 on the longest side and close it. So now I can see that it's very tiny. If I open this image, it's very small, but let's say if I wanna make it larger for whatever need I have, if I'm going to try to make it bigger now, um, it will not be great quality. And I can see right now, you can see how blurry it is. So for certain things, you might have to be aware. Maybe if you just want to increase it slightly, it won't make a difference. But if you're trying to make a, you know, um, 1280 pixels now from 320, that's going to look like this. So be aware of that. But that's one cool thing you can do very quickly in preview. Thanks so much for watching.